you who don't know me or if you've never been here before, welcome. My name's Rachel and I'm the owner and creator here at the Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Today's Tuesday and I have another thrift flip for you. In today's video, I kind of went back to basics a little bit with my color palette. Definitely a lot more neutrals this go around, but I did have some fun with some different products this go around as well. And I used a mold and I used a stamp and I used some transfers, so that was kind of fun. And I also used one of the brand new DIY cottage colors. It's called Crockery by Jamie Ray Vintage. They're curated by her and uh, it's a lovely taupey uh, brown color, just a really pretty uh, neutral color that I love. The nice thing about the DIY um, cottage colors is that they have a built-in sealer so it's a one and done paint you just simply paint your project and you're finished no need for waxes or any kind of sealer which is nice anyway I hope you enjoy the video and if you do please remember to give it a thumbs up I always appreciate that so much and uh, I would absolutely love it if you haven't already if you would subscribe to my channel and then just hit the little notification bell and that way uh, it'll let you know when I upload new content so you don't miss anything. Uh, I would also love to hear which of the projects today was your favorite so please comment and let me know below. I always love hearing from you guys. So anyway without further ado let's get into those projects. My first project is a pretty simple one. I've had this galvanized pitcher sitting in my kitchen for quite some time now, and I knew I wanted to do something to it. I just didn't want to go too over the top. I wanted to kind of keep it simple because I really do like the look of the galvanized metal. What I decided, since a couple of my other projects center around butterflies, and I had this transfer out of the forest transfer set by Redesign by Prima that had a couple butterflies in it, I decided to simply just place this transfer on the front of this watering can just to dress it up a tad and make it kind of cute and to go with the theme. And so I'm simply applying that transfer and then I am going to go over it with one good even coat of Big Top all over the bottom part of this picture so that the entire finish is all the same. And once that's done and the Big Top is dry, this guy is done. Project two continues the butterfly theme and I've had this box for a while trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with it. Uh, what I landed on was deciding to lighten it up some by dry brushing it with crinoline. And what dry brushing means is that you take your paintbrush, you dip it in your paint. And for this, I'm just using a really simple uh, little chip brush. And then you wipe off almost all of the paint until your paintbrush is dry. I did go a little heavier handed on this piece because I did want a little bit more uh, color on it with I just didn't want it completely saturated for the inside I did want to go ahead and completely paint the inside trying to reach in there to dry brush inside of it with a brush was almost impossible without wrecking the, the paint that I'd already put down so it was just easier to paint the entire inside then I decided to go ahead and paint the two metal butterflies that were attached to the outside of this box. And for that, I just painted one with Farm Fresh and then I did the other one with Cake Batter. I love these two colors together and of course they go great with crinoline. Now, once I painted them, it kind of covered up the little embossed details in the butterfly. So I went back over them by dry brushing some more crinoline over the top just to kind of bring back those little raised areas and details. Once I had achieved a look that I was happy with, I went ahead and began the sealing process. And for that, I am just using one good even coat of Big Top over the entire piece. I really love Big Top. It goes on so smoothly and easily. Um, it's a very, very durable finish. And 
even though it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, it's not too shiny for me. So I just, again, go over all the different sides, the front, the inside, all with one good even coat of Big Top. And then all that's left from there is to replace the handle. For that, I went ahead and painted the handle and the screws with a color I'm not even sure what it is in my cabinet uh, by Rust-Oleum and then reattached the handle and then this piece is done. three is a terracotta wine uh, holder that I've had for a while and the front of it actually says vino and I decided I didn't want it to say that anymore so I am going to cover that up with some air dry clay and I'm using the mold called uh, he loves me by IOD so I'm simply just filling the mold that I want with the air dry clay and pressing it down into all the nooks and crannies in that mold now I did put some flour in the mold first to make sure that it, the clay didn't stick. And once I'm done and it's nice and smooth and I'm happy with it, I flip it over and let gravity kind of take that mold back out of the uh, silicone there. And then I spread one even coat of tight bond all over the back of it. Not too much, but you definitely want to get all the way out to the edges. Then I place the flower down over the little embossed area that used to say Vino. I think this is a much improved version of this canister and just kind of pat it down. Now I'm using the brand new Jamie Ray color called Crockery. And these colors, the Jamie Ray uh, DIY colors actually have a built-in sealer. So you really do need to make sure and stir them well before you use them. And I am just going over this entire piece with one good even coat. I had such good coverage that I just had to go over a couple areas with a second coat. Once that's completely dry, I am going over this directly with DIY's dark wax. It's one of the great things about using a paint that has a sealer built in is there's no need to go over this with clear wax first. I could just go directly on with my dark wax. So I'm going over the flower pretty heavily with that dark wax, trying to get it in all the little nooks and crannies to fill in any voids between the flower and the um, canister itself. And then I'm taking my shop towel and wiping back any excess. And you can see how well uh, this comes right back off because the paint has that built-in sealer. Once that was done, I did go over the entire piece with a good coat of uh, the dark wax just to kind of blend it all in and make it match really well. And again, super easy process, just brushed that wax on and then wiped it back with my shop towel. Remember, if you'd like to purchase any of the paint or waxes from me, you can go to my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com to purchase them. My fourth and final project, I had these two pillar holders sitting around in my kitchen for a long time now. And I've had these two wood rounds for quite some time as well. And what I decided to do were to marry them up to create little risers or plant stands or small tables, whatever you wanted to use these guys for. So I did take them outside and give them one good even coat of Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint in dark brown so that when I distress them, I would be distressing back to the same color all the way through both pieces. Then it was on to painting, and for that I'm using DIY's paint in the colors Faded Burlap on one and 
crinoline on the other and this is a great paint if you've never used it before it's a little bit thick which is awesome because it gives great coverage uh, it's highly pigmented um, and I just love using it so it only took me two coats even over that dark brown with both of those colors to get them completely covered now I always keep my mister bottle handy uh, this is a water-based paint so if it gets a little thick or you're starting to see brush marks you can always um, kind of water your paint down just a little bit so that it goes on a little smoother and take some of those brush marks away so once that second coat was done and completely dry it was on to distressing and for that I am using my damp shop towels I just get these from Costco I don't know if they're technically lint free but I had somebody ask me the question and in the couple years that I've been using these I've never had an issue with lint at all so I'm just going over all of the detail in these pieces and just trying to bring out some of that brown color from underneath the paint so that you can kind of see them a little bit better going around the edges of the top and I like to bring back a little bit of the paint on the top as well then it's on to decoration and for that I am using the kindest regard stamp by IOD I am inking it up with my stays on ink and then I'm taking a shop towel and just kind of tapping off some of that ink I don't want this to be completely saturated uh, on the tops of these so I place the stamp down and just go over it very carefully with one hand while I hold it down with the other to get a nice impression. And once that's done and this stays on as well and dry, I am going in with my... Now forgive me if I don't pronounce this correctly, I believe it's Papillon. So the Papillon Collection Transfer Set by Redesign by Prima. And you can see here, I just place each transfer down and I begin rubbing with the transfer stick, peeling up the vellum as I go. Now, one thing to note on these, if you're peeling up your vellum and a little piece of the transfer comes with it, just place that piece back down and re-rub the area. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna lay right where you put, need it to be and you'll never even know uh, that that had lifted in the first place. So I decided to add a little butterfly to the body of this and to uh, the base as well, just to kind of bring them down just a little bit. And then it was time to add a few butterflies to the one I had painted in crinoline as well. Once the transfers were down and I was happy with how each of these guys looked, it was on to sealing my paint. And again, for that, I am just choosing to use DIY's Big Top. It's such an easy uh, solution to sealing the paint and making sure that those transfers are protected as well. Once that's done, I let the uh, Big Top dry thoroughly and then these guys are ready to go.
hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up and again if you haven't already i would really love it if you would think about subscribing to my channel and then just hitting that little notification bell so you don't miss anything for friday's video it's going to be guess what another thrift flip because i am still working trying to get through some of my stash in my kitchen i've already pulled a few items and kind of got started on a couple of them so i hope you'll join me for that on friday and just a reminder any of the diy products or sweet pickings uh, can be purchased through my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com also, don't forget, I would love to hear from you as to which of the projects in today's video was your favorite, so don't forget to comment below. Anyway, I hope to see you back here on Friday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.